Before this video begins, if you guys would like to support me, the brand, and the channel by picking up something cool for yourself or for your car, head to the link in the top of the description. I have a ton of cool product for sale on my website, and not only that, every order right now gets a free Divine Jet Tag. This video was a fun one to make. We made a lot of progress, so I hope you guys enjoy. What's up everyone welcome back to the channel today is an awesome day because we are finally going to be building my 2jz ge for my mark 4 supra i have a ton of parts laid out on this table including my freshly rebuilt turbo 2jz vvti head that my buddy mike over at outcast precision machining built up for me the thing is beautiful we'll go over it in a little bit we're gonna make some awesome progress today get this thing completely ready to go back in the car look who it is <laughs> mike squared there's two mics in the house now see um and today we are gonna friggin rip this thing got basically everything we need uh tensioner air piece studs new belt Cams, full gasket kit, built head, yours truly, beautiful man. Uh, ATI super damper, beautiful new Titan motorsport pulleys, and a lot of sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> but, yeah. We're gonna come up with a game plan, and I guess just friggin' tear into it. This is literally all, like, parts that were perfectly clean going in there. <laughs> That's how, like, it, like, just, like, it's literally, like, metal dust that it gets off of parts. That's insane. Like, it's like the most useful possible thing you can have as an engine builder. So last night I tried to make a video actually completely about all of the new parts that were going on this uh, car. And halfway through I realized this video is kind of pointless, especially because we were going to be doing this the next day tearing this engine down and putting all the new parts on. So I can explain, or we can both explain, uh, all the new parts going back on this engine, including the freshly rebuilt turbo head. Drained all the oil out of it, got everything ready, good to go. Gotta take this pulley off and uh, then we can get all of the timing stuff off, valve covers, everything like that. <laughs> Now we'll figure out if I drained all the water. And it looks like good. Hey, pretty good job. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Very nice. What are we looking at? Carbony. <laughs> oh, carbon never hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a little crusty. A lot of carbon buildup. Seems to be okay. There's a little bit of kind of surface rust in there, and I think I can. It's <laughs> safe to say it's from me pressure washing it and leaving it for a month. Yeah, it's not a bad spot though, and it's not serious, so yeah, it should be should be good. We're gonna get the deck all. Uh, use a scraper be careful to scrape it off yeah and then a razor blade to get like the real fine stuff off and then from there we'll use a uh, like a flat sander and just a brush over the deck make sure there's no nicks or anything like that cool and pretty much it'll be ready for the new head to go on sick i'll go get the the rock and we'll just start <laughs> scrolling it all up let's flip it upside down on the, on the driveway out front <laughs>
So Mike went ahead and got the block completely prepped. Almost done, still have to kind of prep the top surface for the head to meet. Uh, he's got this fancy aluminum little block here with some sandpaper on it. It's just gonna flatten this out very nicely. And uh, we all went ahead already, got the block painted, left a bunch of this stuff on because a lot of this is gonna get replaced. The whole oil pump in the front's getting replaced. This we can just take off with some brake clean, not a huge deal. Same thing with the oil pan. The oil pan's gonna come off. We still have to drill this for the turbo drain and obviously re-gasket the whole oil pan and underside, all of that. So that'll all get stripped and uh, ready to go, take the paint off of it. But block is looking good. Next thing on the list is to just clean the top of the block with that aluminum plate, like he said, and uh, get this all flat. Then we can get the new gasket on, head on, everything like that and we'll be good to go. So we got the block back inside. I'm gonna start taking the uh, oil pan off, get everything refreshed, all cleaned up. What else, oil pump? Yeah, I gotta check the oil pump, pull it apart, see if it's gonna be usable. If not, we got a uh, new OEM pump that I'll go ahead and port and then put back on the motor. If this one's good, we'll go ahead and clean it up board it and send her down the road. my rear main seal was leaking but it's basically not even there anymore and there's the spring for it yeah the spring goes around a little groove right in here it holds pressure on the on the crank to help seal it and as you can see <laughs> this one's not exactly uh nope not happy <laughs> not at all All right, it's late. We were able to basically get the block completely taken apart, oil pumps off, lower pans off, all that stuff is off. You think the pump is usable, saveable? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that's good. We've just been chipping away at the slow process of getting all the old RTV off and shit, but it's late. We're gonna go grab some food and then get an early start on this tomorrow get uh, all the stuff put back on, back together. The only thing that I'm missing, a uh, water pump. So I need to order a water pump so we can't time it, but uh, we can at least kind of get everything back on and uh, can put some new stuff on, see how, see kind of how everything looks. New valve covers, new top cover. It'll be cool, it'll be good. I'm excited. We're gonna uh, do that and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it is the next day. Mike has been busting ass getting this thing all ready to go. Just got all brand new freeze plugs in the block. Looks phenomenal. We're working on getting the oil pump all ready to go. Just got this all cleaned up and uh, gonna throw some fresh gaskets in it. Get that back on. Then we can work on getting the lower pan back on. Get all the sensors and hardware and things put back in the block. And then we can slap the head on. When we do that, we'll obviously be using some brand new ARP studs. Don't want to cheap out using the stock studs again. They're really only a one-time use, so. I have an entire brand new gasket kit from Toyota that has everything that we need in it, including the brand new head gasket, ATI super damper, billet tensioner, VVTI cam gears, brand new timing belt, 
Titan Motorsport pulley kit, GSC Power Division Stage 1 cams, and we'll obviously go over the uh, stuff that Mike did to the head uh, when he's back and we're ready for the head. Making good progress, I'm stoked. It's a fucking mess in here and I definitely underestimated the amount of space that we would need to do this. We only ever really have time to take cars apart and very little time to spend putting them back together. So hopefully we can get enough done today to where I can reorganize this entire place and just get rid of all of this because this just gives me huge anxiety. Most of this stuff is not going to go back on the car, but it's just ah, anxiety. Everything on here will go on the car, so this table will be all cleared off, but I'm definitely stoked to get rid of these junky ass freeze plugs. I've switched directions with the kind of theme of the engine bay. I originally wanted to do kind of like an all black engine setup and just have it contrast in the bay but i got so much new factory stuff that it just makes more sense to do like a full oem plus style build with this but just have it make decent power and uh have some really nice parts on it so that's the direction that i'm going and hopefully you'll see towards the end of this video what i mean i got brand new valve covers for it a brand new vvti top cover for it it's gonna be a beautiful engine setup i'm very very excited So shiny. Oh. Love a good reveal. <laughs> That's a mighty fine looking head there, Mike. They do look pretty. Did some good work there. So it was a pretty nice head when you, you brought it to me, but it needed guides, so we went ahead and knocked out the old cast iron guides that come with it. Yeah. And I believe they're BC guides that you supplied for yeah. me. So we knocked those in, honed them to size um, for the new VC valves that you brought me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then installed, no, oh, actually I, I had to do a valve job on it. Uh, right. Every time you put guides in the cylinder head, the, the valve doesn't stay exactly perfectly square to where it was originally. Mm -hmm. And so you have to recut the seat in order for it to sit properly. So did a uh, five angle on both sides, intake and exhaust, too, so you get the best flow you can out of a head without porting it and um, then went ahead and resurfaced the cylinder head and lashed it with the new GSC cams which are absolutely just I'm stoked on beautiful <laughs> and uh, other than that everything looked checked out good no cracks anything like that so it. it was awesome mm -hmm. It is beautiful. Look at that. 
Oh, it's, a, it's starting to look like a motor again. <laughs> Engine. 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 So I just finished getting all of the uh, ARP lube on the threads and the washer and everything. Uh, Mike is out grabbing his drop. And when we get back, tighten it all down, torque it all down to spec, and this head will be good to go. I'm fucking excited. Didn't get as far as I had wanted to, but unfortunately that's because of my own fault. Not buying the thermostat and the tensioner that I need to complete the front side of the engine. If I had bought those, then we could put that stuff on, get the cam gears on, time everything, and this thing could actually go together and get closed up and be good. Uh, but until then, those parts come in this week. I'll be able to slap those on, get this thing ready to go, get all the brackets and everything all dressed up and uh, put back on it, alternator, AC compressor, and start dressing up the engine with all of the new accessories that I have, which I'm super, super excited for. This is gonna be one badass build, and I am stoked. Just like that, the head block is all put together. Mike did a phenomenal job. If you guys are in Florida and you need any engine work, be sure to hit up Outcast Precision Machining on Instagram. Mike does great work and I have no doubt in my mind that this thing is going to rip. Now last night we got this thing all protected and saran wrapped and everything and we called it a night. But I can't close this video out without getting the valve covers and top cover put on it just because that's like, I've been waiting to see that for so long, so I'm gonna rip the uh, SRAM wrap off and we're gonna put those on just so we can see what this thing looks like before it's fully dressed and back in the engine bay. So this is why I switched from doing like an all flat black engine setup to more of an OEM plus. I was able to find a brand new VVTi top cover still in the Toyota box as well as brand new valve covers and everything like that. I got a bunch of other OEM stuff, brand new, and it's just gonna tie the engine bay all together so, so well. Ready? Keep this. This is so good. Oh, that's gonna look so good. Baby, oh baby. Whoa. It looks like Toyota just friggin' came by and dropped this off in the shop for me, straight from the factory. The thing looks so good. Yeah, I definitely needed to see that before ending this. Man, that looks so good. Yeah, OEM Plus is definitely the way for this one. Some other cool parts that I have already that I can't put on just yet is my turbo, which is a Garrett G35-900, and to pair with it is the uh, hot side over here in this box. Have no use to really take them out of the box right now. I don't have the manifold yet. Once I do have the manifold, I can start dressing the engine up. Uh, Treadstone intercooler. I had the actual the intercooler piping showed up today, so that's cool. Can put that stuff to the side. And then down in this box is actually a Plasma Man intake manifold for the car, along with Plasma Man fuel rail. A ton of Dietworks products for all of my fueling. Have a ton of stuff in this box. Uh, PRP coil plug kit, uh, coil harness kit to convert this thing from distributor to coil. All the coil packs, vibrant downpipe exhaust tubing, vibrant HD clamps. Turbo Smart Wastegate. This whole setup is gonna look phenomenal and perform phenomenally, and I'm very, very excited for it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I gotta end it so that I can clean and organize. This place is a mess. But I had a blast this weekend. It was awesome to uh, hang out and work with Mike and see this thing come together. And I cannot wait to make more progress on it very soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.